Today I am going back to my roots and into a competition called Mini RPG of the Week. Mini RPG maps are obstacle maps and if you don't know, I used to be quite good at them and now there happens to be a tournament where you play these maps in a knockout format. Similar to Couple of Day, let's hop in and see how this goes. It's called Icy Slopes. Are we gonna have an ice mini RPG? Because then this is very unlike what I uh, used to play. There was no ice back then, but still similar element, similar difficulty could favor me. There is a GPS and yeah, let's just watch GPS. No doubt about it. And now let's pay close attention. So across the railing into the wall ride, jump up into this, go around and get the checkpoint going back and now going up over here. Okay. I'm with it so far. You bug slide backwards drive. Backwards wall. What are we playing this in knockout? <laughs> oh, this is going to be so difficult. Okay. You drop down, you jump up. I am so lost already. This is going to be hard to remember. Neo slide here. I like that. And now an ice slide. Where you do a three, not a 360, but yeah, something like that. Go down into a plastic. I mean, what? <laughs> 15 minutes to learn this. It's the most dank map I've ever seen. And you can risky jump here. Okay. Wow. So that was a lot. Okay. Wait, we're going to need to turn off cars here. So you drop into this and then you jumped up here to pick up this on the repeat back here. You then drop into this and go over up here. And then it was a bug slide. You had to land backwards. I mean, that is so far. 202 speed. Let's just get used to the speed number. So 202 barely doesn't make it. So I think for that, you might need like 205. And here I didn't have really the setup because I it's my first run through, but that's okay. Now, we drop down here. Yeah, jump up. I remember that. There's a Neo slide somewhere here. Oh, it's over here. The Neo slide. And then what was it? Oh, the ice slide. Okay, yeah. And this was not really a 360, but you still had to get an ice slide towards this. And then you had to drop in here with a somewhat diagonal angle. To get the jump out, let's see. So if I approach it from here, something about getting the uh, feeling for this. Wow, that actually works. Crazy that that actually works. And what's the angle here? That's a little high. Nothing too difficult though. Scumdeer already, I think, nearly one shot the map. One twenty-three. No, actually, I had a lot of response, so he he didn't. But I've had uh, some battles with Scumdeer in the past. Like five years ago, we played a match. It's on my main channel still. Um, where we played a, a final in a longer RPG format. Super exciting. And so uh, we have battled before. Hasser as well as a formidable player at this style. So there's a lot of pros in this. Okay, I think I gotta think a bit, but I think I can gorilla grip that if I just remember um, the inputs. This is not making the top floor. And if you don't make the top floor, you go here and what happens? Okay, there's a slow mo to make this path slower. And you gotta finish over here. Okay. I hope you guys understand what I meant though when I said it's uh, obstacle maps. Like this is very unlike what you'll find in Couple of the Day or most other map styles. This is a completely unique thing. Oh yeah, so here I failed. Could I... What would I then do? I would go here and turn around, I'm guessing. Yeah, turn around before the cruise control. Okay. It's just good to pick up these like hints because rounds mode is going to be a lot about adaptation and finding out how to survive if I get into trouble. Yeah, and just to check this, 
Yes, they've added the ice for you to specifically turn around. You lose so much, though. Yeah, for rounds, that is like plus five. I don't know. It's quite horrible. So I'm not going to even consider it an option. I'm not going to in my brain register that because I'm going to go for the backwards jump. I need to get that good. Two of four, we're gonna go for a bounce. And we make it. Okay, great. I'm a little bit hesitant to do that full speed. I do need to check it though. One of these runs. That is first place. It could have been a 103. <laughs> it could have definitely been a 103. Small wheel clip at the finish. Would have been a 103 for sure, but not bad. Lost 27 speed. Minus 8. Really low air time though. Oh, 103.70. Right? Yeah, it counted. 103.70. I, was, I got a bit confused by the split. A second ahead of uh, Skundir so far. Very nice, okay. We're getting along good on this quali. Oh, I barely have time. Okay, last run here of the qualifier. I think I want to play this one as if it were a knockout round. Just get a feeling for how that's going to be like. That's a terrible line. So you can actually um, do that better. Eight more speed here. And I still only barely make it. I have not figured that out. Yeah, and you full speed the end. You just full speed. If you land good, you full speed. Uh, okay, so... What happens now? No eliminations, okay. Good luck, have fun. So the first round is fine, and then after that... The slowest players go out. So this is the real, uh... The real test. Ooh, I almost went too wide. And already, I would have to go for the safe. I'd have to go for this and just accept the terrible time loss. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of stuff on screen right now. I'm going to see what I can possibly remove uh, in a moment. Here. That does make it. Okay, nice.
All right, so I got fourth even with the start mistake. Now we're in the first knockout round. Oh my god. That was sketchy. Try to build up a lot of speed before this. That looks good. No danger there. And then, clean drift, good speed. Nice. Yeah, beat Skunder at least in one round. He's very quick, guys. Beating Skunder is not easy at all. 105. But I'm just curious, like, if you're in danger here, like, it's us. Does that mean you're out? It's my first time playing this format, so I'm, I'm really not sure how it works. Oh, so these are knocked out players. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Oh, and even just being in orange enough times can get you knocked out, it looks like. Okay. Next round. I'm scared. That was low. Someone is taking that checkpoint immediately. And here we are forced to do the turnaround, so let's just get on with it. I did not have the speed. It would be quicker to respawn in like a important round. If I know the bug slide is uh continuable because that's five seconds lost right there for not taking that path but it, there was just no way that the setup i had was gonna work so we'll take the plus five continue anyways oh and this looks really bad for reaching the top Okay, we gotta rescue this. Uh-oh. Okay, just roll in, it's fine. Got these jumps I can't really miss. Not even one. Oh my god, I'm so close to being knocked out. <laughs> I got 36 out of 40. Let's see, did I get an exclamation mark? No, I didn't. Okay. Huh. Uh, As so there's a ranking for players as well. Like, if you're in the danger... Yeah. If you ever get orange, you have to fight other people who are have gotten orange. I see now. That's actually a good system. So you can't solely rely on just being, like, second to last. Like, you actually get rewarded for driving top times. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Beautiful speed. I held accelerate way too early. See, that I don't think works. Or does it? Wow, it does. Oh, was with a 103.45. That does beat my PB, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and now we see the danger zone thing. So Yoso has to beat these guys. Even though he's... Oh, he did actually. Yeah. Now I understand the format. <laughs> but that also means, like... 
You can drop into the last spots twice, it looks like. Okay. <laughs> well, at least I haven't made any super blunders yet. Only that one plus 30 round. But yeah, this screen moves way too fast for me to understand. Ah, yeah, it adds to any people in danger. Okay, we keep going. No, I don't trust that. Oh, you have no idea how much I wanted to trust that. But I did not trust that. It would be, um... Honestly, a pretty good, uh... It was 204. But the trade-off from getting, like, stuck there respawning 10 times and just taking the safe route with plus 3 when there's no real danger yet... Uh, it just wasn't worth it. This is a lot of speed, should make the risky jump. Even with this line, it should make it. Now I'm gonna respawn that. Very surprised that didn't make it. Okay. A little concerned, but... No, I'm not sure about this. Oh, I am not sure about this. Oh no, oh no, I could have had it again. Am I out? Does this mean I'm out? Or how does this work now? Ah, that was a really bad run. Ah, that was so many mistakes. <laughs> I panicked. I panicked a bit. I could have had uh, easily avoiding the risky. But now I might get demoted to the danger zone. I, under I understand the format. Okay. Yeah, because now they're going to add me in. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. So now I need to survive here. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the splits on the danger zone. Oh, that was so annoying. We can fight our way back. Definitely going for this. What is my brain thinking, man? I just accelerated too early. You have to wait. You still have to wait. That is so bad. It's still not over. It's still not over. People in the danger zone could make mistakes. It's not looking good, though. Horrible blunder. That should make it. But is it too late? Oh, it is too late! I'm out! Although I saved myself, I'm actually out. <laughs> I I seen ah oh, wow. Two back-to-back -back mistakes. That was so unlucky. Well guys, I gotta put in some practice. This is a lot of fun. But I'm just not up to pace yet. I'm just not up to pace with my old self. I was in the quality at least, but the consistency. I might need to play more of these maps because that was just two back-to-back -back big mistakes. And mind you, like only the first seven rounds, so. I had it as well if I just accelerated in the air. Or not, didn't accelerate, held backwards. It's pretty fascinating, but um, in Trackmania, whether you accelerate or break in the air matters a lot. In a, in a real car, you're in the air, it has no effect on your car, you know, but in TM, if you're traveling backwards and you stop holding backwards, then you slow down in the air. And that's essentially what I did wrong here. You have to wait until you land and then accelerate. That's what I got wrong. I think we're going to wait until the top five and then cast the rest of it. But uh, Skundir is looking like a clear favorite. Top five now. Hazard and Worker in the danger zone. So Hazard has to beat Worker and Worker just drove a 102.1. This is where the format gets really interesting. It's essentially 1v1s. Let's see how this one goes. Could very well be a final Worker though. Missing that first quarter pipe jump a bit. 
One second behind. Ha Hazard has low speed. Hazard doesn't make it up. Hazard must have had a really bad landing because now Worker's in the clear. Does he know it though? He might see on the splits that there is a missing player. What a jump, by the way, with that bounce. One second behind Skundir, but had a mistake early. He's seven seconds out of Hazard. Should be able to close this out if he gets that uh, plastic jump right. Also a player that doesn't do the... Yeah, but that has to be good. <gasps> Slide out. So this is not just a time loss, it's a speed loss. Does he make the risky jump up? Uh-oh. Oh, he barely gets there. Low speed, does he pick up the booster? Does he know this? Or does he make it? He might need that booster. Oh, he does make it across the first one. Cannot get the risky finish, but gets the safe one just barely. Had he respawned there, Hazard would be in. It was two quarter pipe clips. That was crazy, crazy close for Worker. Worker, Skandir, Morpheo, and Snappy. I would say Snappy, the dark horse here, as the others are more well-known players. But he is matching their pace on the start. Gets a nice drop down. Now the jump up. Last time we saw a player miss this. Now all four get it. Snappy setting up too wide, I think, for the bug slide. He's not going to have the... Necessary speed, 185 is way too low, needs to respawn. Not gonna do it before losing a lot of time, but look at Skundir. Skundir's also made a mistake, 220 now for Snappy. Skundir respawning again. Quite disastrous for one of the favorites to go into the danger zone here. But I'm not sure what Snappy can do, being seven seconds behind Worker. It does not look like he's going to do this 360 thing. Instead going to do what is a beautiful line. So much speed down here. And yeah, this, this diagonal entry. If I had I known this, then I would have had better chances. Worker is in a lot of trouble just now. Has to double respawn and then pick up the booster. To the right, to the right, to the right. Does he know? We only had 15 minutes to learn this. Has not practiced this. Does he make the jump? That is a really bad landing. Here comes Snappy, jumping up. Does not make it, Worker. On his next try, does he get there now? Can he get the risky? He's gonna go for the safe. What about Snappy? Snappy respawning and DNF. And Worker saves himself. Morpheo is basically in the final already. Just waiting to see who he will face. And I'm guessing if he will face them with 2 HP or not. Dub oh, decides to respawn in the start after a mistake. Crashing there. But this is a battle. The two fastest players. Fighting to stay in the cup. Worker with low speed, but will be enough to make it. Across. Takes the time loss early and gets a nice no slide. 0.7 behind will be maybe less on the next checkpoint because of that. Ooh. Has it's a little bit. 0.8 now. Still very far from catching up. It has to maybe be in this ice slide. Skundir does or used to do a 360, now not anymore. Worker gets a lot of speed out of this though. That's a nice line, but he's still one second behind. Skundir could secure his finals ticket here. Driving what looks to be one of the fastest runs yet. Minus 0.7 off his own PB, low jump, jumps up. And that is a 103.3, knocking out Worker. It's one round, winner takes all, Skundir versus Morpheo. A to serve the final. Let's see who wins. Morpheo not missing the jump on the start this time. But had to release a bit. Skundir a tenth ahead. Dropping down. Who gets the lowest jump up? That is Skundir once again. Extending his lead to point two. Now the bug slide. Oh, Morpheo has hitting a bit. That is 180. He has to respawn. He has to respawn. This will not work. And Skundir is going to have a five second lead now. And as soon as he realizes this, it should be a formality. Goes across the water ledges here. A little shaky. Does he get the speed? That is quite low speed, I would say, for what he's about to do. This plastic jump up. 233. And he will... Wow, with the high airtime as well. Does make it. And one last jump into the finish, Skandir, the winner of Mini RPG of the Week. He won the qualifier, he won the tournament, 
I got second in the qualifier, and then I got destroyed and got like 20-something. Uh, I got 30th. <laughs> so, uh, you know, some work to do on my consistency, but maybe we can beat him one week. I'll definitely come back and play this more often. But yeah, fun stuff. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, hope you want to see more of this. Bye-bye, guys.